Hello, welcome to the video on indice and log equations, exercise 2.2 in your textbook. Um, this will be building on some of the things that we've done from the last lesson, um, you know, doing uh, indice and log equations. Now, a couple of things to, to remember or to note uh, at the start is that um, you need to have the same base, um, the same base for the logs, same base for indices, otherwise um, none of this is going to work. Um, now, sometimes you can introduce log 10 or log e to both sides. Although that's probably not as relevant anymore because our calculator can do uh, whatever we like. It can actually do log to the base of anything. Um, but sometimes log 10 and log e can, can work nicely. And the other the last thing is the, the switcheroo. Uh, remembering going from you know, uh, 10 squared equals 100 to log 10 of 100 equals 2. Um, sometimes it's nicer in an indice form, sometimes it's nicer in a log form. So let me just have a go at a couple of questions um, for you. So, um, this one here, 2 to the power of x equals 64. Um, my advice for this one would be get 64 into the power, uh, make it 2 to the power of something. Um, you know, 2 to the power of what gets to 64, well it's going to be 2 to the power of 6. Once you've got the bases the same, then you can just read off the tops of the powers, so x must equal 6. Uh, for this one here, 3 to the power of x plus 1 equals 27. Um, again, make 27 to the base 3, so 3 to the power of 3. And then therefore, once you've got the bases the same, x plus 1 equals 3, so x equals 2. Fairly straightforward. Hopefully you'll be able to do those kinds of questions without too much trouble. The next two might be a little bit trickier. Let's just look at um, c for the moment. Ooh. Where are we? I've lost myself. Let's look at, um, look at c. Okay, so 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 1. Now I'm going to collect both of those together so there's just one power and one number. So one power on one side, sorry, one, a base with a power on one side and just a number on the other. So that becomes 3 to the power of x. Because we're multiplying them we can add the powers together, so x plus x minus 1. And 243 I can turn to 3 to the power of 5. Now, like, how, how do you know that 3 to the power of 5 is 243? I mean, it's just, uh, hopefully you know, you know, um, the, the twos, uh, the, the powers of 2, so 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and, and be able to work it out from there. So, like, I mean, this is, we probably wouldn't ask you 3 to the power of 6, like 3 to the power of 5 is probably the, the biggest, and we, we would never ask you 7 to the power of 5 or anything like that, it's, it's way too big. Um, but if you know a couple of them, that, that could be okay. Uh, so once I've got that, I can add these two things together. So x plus x is 2x minus 1. So therefore, 2x minus 1 must equal 5, and we can find out that x equals 3. If you're worried about the solution, chuck it back out into the equation. 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 is 3 to the power of 5, which all works. Okay. Now, D is a little bit trickier. The other thing, other questions you've probably been able to do a bit, by, a bit more by yourself, but D is a little bit trickier. Um, if you have a look at this, you can actually see a quadratic coming out because you've got 2 to the power of x here, 2 to the power of 2x here. It's like this one is squared and this one is just x and therefore you know, this one is you know, 2 to the power of 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let a equal not 2 to the power of 2x, that's a mistake. I'm going to let a equal 2 to the power of x. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace 2 to the power of 2x with a squared and then 2 to the power of x with just a. So I get a squared minus 6a plus 8 equals 0. And then that's just a quadratic, so now I can factorise that and I can find my solutions x, a equals 4 and a equals 2. A lot of people in the exams, they get a bit panicky and they stop at this point here. Now I never wanted to know what a was. That's not even in the original question. That was just something that I introduced to help me. I actually want to know what x is. So now what I have to do is I have to replace a with x. Now I think I'm going to make mistakes down here because I had a mistake up there. So that one, I've got here 2 to the power of 2x equals 4. That's not true. It's actually 2 to the power of x equals 4. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this all out and, and start again. But um, hopefully you know what I'm trying to do now. And hopefully my eraser works well. So I can see from my answers, it's going to be a little bit easier than what I had before. This is just going to be um, a is the same as 2 to the power of x, so 2 to the power of x. Come on, this not working for me, just bear with me. Ah, here we go. 2 to the power of x equals 4, 
and 2 to the power of x equals 2 so therefore x is 2 and x is 1 okay so you must make sure that you go down and do that last step the other the last thing I want to show you is not really that necessary but this is what I was talking about before in terms of um, changing this equation to um, this rule so what was the rule before log a of um, or I think it might have been log b actually so we'll, we'll keep it as it was log b of n equals log a of n over log a of b okay I'm gonna prove that rule to you now it's not really that necessary but it's helpful to know the log rules really well okay log 2 of 5 equals a I'm going to um, raise both sides to the power of uh, 2 so that becomes 5 equals 2 to the power of a or you know you could do the odd switcheroo as well um, but I've raised both sides um, to the power you know 2 to the power of um, on both sides okay and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get log 10 or log e of both sides I'm going to choose log e just because I like log e I'm going to get log e of 5 equals log e of 2a now I'm going to use my rule that says I can uh, drag the, the power down the bottom so it's log e of 5 equals 2 log e ah uh, sorry a <laughs> log e of 2 and now I'm going to divide both sides by log e 2 and so I get a equals a equals log e 5 divided by log e of 2 okay now I could go into my calculator and work out what that is and you can see that a is the same over there um, a is log 2 of 5 and a equals log e of 5 divided by log e of 2 now that's using that I guess that's proving this rule over here you chuck that in on your calculator and work it out alternatively you could just chuck in log 2 um, 5 and work it out as well uh, thanks for listening hope that helps